YouTube. In this video, uh, we will learn how to use PI Air sensor for detecting motion. But first, let's explain how the working principle of the model. The model actually consists of a ferroelectric sensor which generates energy when exposes to heat. That means when a human or animal body will get in the range of the sensor, it will detect a movement because the human or the animal body emits heat energy in a form of infrared radiation. That's where the name of the sensor comes from. A passive infrared sensor and the term passive means that the sensor is not using any energy for detecting purposes. It just works by detecting the energy given off by the other objects, the model also consists of a specially designed cover named Fresnel lens. That's it's this is Fresnel lens, and this is a ferroelectric sensor. This, this little thing here. I will put it back. This uh, pressure lens uh, focuses the infrared signal on, onto the pyroelectric sensor. Now, now we will connect the module to the circuit. But first, uh, I need to tell these three pins here. It's uh, ground and the VCC for powering the module, and the output pin which gives high logic level if an object is detected. Uh, also, it has uh, two potentiometers, one for adjusting the sensitivity of the sensor uh, and the uh, other uh, and the other for adjusting the time the output signal stays high when the object is detected. This time can be adjusted from 0 0.3 seconds up to 5 minutes. The model has uh, uh, three more pins here uh, with a jumper between. Uh, between two of them, these pins are the for selecting the trigger modes. The first one is called uh, non repeatable trigger and works like this when the sensor output is high and the delay time is over. The output will automatically change from high to low level. The other mode called repeatable trigger. It will keep the output high all the time until the detected. It pre is presented in the sensor range. As an example for this tutorial, I will make a, I will make a circuit that will turn on a high voltage. Uh, LED strip when the sensor will detect an object. Uh, here uh, we can uh, see the circuit schematic. The output pin of the sensor will be connected to the gate on the MOSFET transistor and when the, an object will be detected the MOSFET will activate and the LED strip will turn on. Now for this tutorial I need uh, uh, these components, first this uh, PIR module here, second is a uh, power supply, it's a 12, 12 volt DC, uh, five, uh, 500 milliamps, it's a breadboard uh, on a little DC jack. I have made it special for this pins just turn it on and it can be connected to this board here like this. So I need uh, this uh, MOSFET transistor here. It's uh, it's uh, mount in here. And uh, 10 kilo ohm resistor. 
some uh, these uh, vibes more vibes here and uh, this uh, LED strip here now let's connect this circuit first I will connect this uh, MOSFET transistor I will put it here on a gate I will connect 10 kilo ohm resistor to the ground ground and gate ground and gate ground so I need to connect this but later. Now I will connect this PR sensor and first uh, this and this we can see the actually ground VCC and signal output pin. I will connect this sensor first VCC second ground and this pin in middle is output signal I connect it here first connecting VCC ground Signal output pin going to to gate. Now source I will connect to ground. And that's it. That's it for now. Now I need to connect this LED. Uh, this black wire. It's ground going to the drain of the MOSFET in the middle pin and the red wire goes to VCC. I will connect it here. Now I will connect the power circuit. It's here it's uh, 12 volts. Strips is working.
just remove power supply and uh, I will use this uh, little transistor from motherboard. I will um, read yes. Yes, please in this one. With this one. Now I will test it again. Oh, it's bright. It's brighter now. Very bright. I need transistor is changed because uh, output voltage of this sensor is only three point three volt. volt. Volts. Now I will test it. Transistor can't open, be fully open. 